This exam question is about the Hithoff method to determine transport numbers. We kind of balance sheet and electrolysis separately for anode compartment and cathode compartment. The electrolysis of hydrochloric acid takes place in a Hithoff cell. The anode and cathode compartments are each 500 milliliters of acid. A 100 milliampere's current flows through the electrolyte for one hour. The following concentrations were measured before the electrolysis. Both in the anode and cathode compartment, 10 milliliters per liter. First calculate from the limiting conductivities the transfer number of the anions and then determine the number of moles of hydrogen produced at the cathode and the concentration of hydrochloric acid after electrolysis in the cathode compartment. The determination of the transport number can be done starting from the limiting equivalent conductivities of the ions using Kohlrausch's law of independent migration of ions. Protons conduct much better than chloride ions. This is the Grotius effect. And the ratio of limiting equivalent conductivity of chloride ions and the limiting equivalent conductivity of the entire electrolyte results in T minus equals 0.179. About 18% of conductivity is carried out by chloride ions, and the remaining 82% is carried out by protons. The molar amount of HCl in the anode compartment is calculated as concentration times volume, that is 0.01 moles per liter times 0.5 liters equals 5 millimoles. In the cathode compartment, we also end up with 5 millimoles HCl prior to the electrolysis. When the electrolysis takes place, H plus and Cl minus are converted to hydrogen and chlorine. The total amount of HCl which reacts can be calculated using Faraday's law to I times T over F. Plug it in 0 0.1 amps times 3600 seconds divided by 96,485 coulombs per mole. In total, 3.731 millimoles of hydrochloric acid are converted to hydrogen and chloride and will eventually disappear from the electrolysis cell. But do not disappear by half in the anode and in the cathode compartment. Due to the different velocities of the ions, these concentration changes will be different. The amount of hydrogen formed at the cathode can be determined according to Faraday's law. 3.731 millimoles of flowing electrons are sufficient to produce the half of it, that is 1.866 millimoles of hydrogen, which is about 46 milliliters. The actual decrease in the concentration at the anode is slightly less than 3.731 millimoles due to the migration of ions. It is given by T plus times 3.731 millimoles. That is 3.062 millimoles. Accordingly, at the cathode, the concentration change will be T minus times N, that is 18% of 3.731 millimoles, 0 0.669 millimoles. Adding the changes in the cathode and anode compartment, we of course end up with 3.731 millimoles. The final concentration at the anode will be number of moles, 1.94, divided by volume, 
0.5 liters, that is 3.88 millimoles per liter. The final concentration at the cathode will be 8.66 millimoles per liter accordingly. Thanks for watching. Bye.